While I'm here, could I put in a plug for University Gay Liberation? It's a really wonderful organisation. We want as many people as possible to join. As well as, as, well as that, uh, there's a Gay Student Society, which is a new society which is joining up this year. No, it doesn't cost anything to join Gay, University Gay Liberation. It's one of the best organisations on campus. We're in regular dances. We want as many people as possible this year. <laughs> Tony, what are your general opinion on Oh, it was hell. Pure hell. You enjoyed it? Um, no. You didn't? How did you stay awake? Um, amphetamine sulfate. Amphetamine sulfate. You'd uh, recommend this to anyone? No, not the general public. Not the general public? Oh, is that right? How about university students? Oh, I don't know. In lighter moments, I suppose it's... It's a good way to fill in time between lectures, I suppose, or something like that. Iron Lung Competition was won by Peter Tanksos and two other anonymous entrants. The three intrepid lungsters decided to pack it in after a record two and one quarter hours in the smoke-filled room. <coughs> Excuse me. Children 960 outside the Iron Lung Competition. A few words with Mr. Merritt. David, yeah. about the Iron Lung Competition. What it is, is it's a small room and you block off the, the draft underneath the door and you light lots and lots of Tasman duck pipe tobacco and the room fills full of smoke eventually and the last person to leave wins. Last person to leave. And has this ever been done before? Oh yeah, there used to be a regular feature here about oh, seven or eight years ago. They used to have a pipe society. They used to do this quite regularly. They used to have orders of the Iron Cross as a sort of badge people could wear. Now how long is the usual uh, sort of length expecting to stay in there? About four hours. Four hours? What sort of condition are they in when they get out? Pretty rugged. You need oxygen just about pretty straight away, I think. It is. You really do need oxygen. So just go inside. We'll go inside and have a, have a quick look then. Are you ready? Uh, <laughs> yes, as ready as we ever be. Get set, go. Uh, Ross, here we are. Here we are at the uh, Iron Lung competition. Great sort of place, really. Shit, how are you managing to hack this? <laughs> Channel 960. What's your general opinion of the R&I competition then? No pressure allowed. Are you enjoying it? Uh, yeah, I guess it's alright so. Yeah. You think it's worthwhile? Oh yeah. So you'd like to see it as a regular feature orientation? I'd like to see the Paul of Auckland like this here. I think it's quite incredible really. Yeah, yeah. How long have you been in here? Uh, for there, yeah. <coughs> quite amazing. Show on line sixty. <clears throat> what a go! On. A few words with you, Tony, about this. What's your general opinion of the uh, this competition? Ah, oh, shit! I couldn't say anything at this present moment in time. <laughs> Who's been here the longest? Hey. Yeah, been. How are you going? <laughs> Don't see you there. Oh, how are you going? <laughs> Reckon you need oxygen when you get out? Yeah, yeah, probably. A bit. Okay. <laughs> well, we leave you there, sorry. Do interrupt things. What? Hey. You're leaving us already? Sorry, sorry. Must go, must rush. Right. Get your cable out, get your cable out. <coughs> yep. uh, how you feel? Sore, sore eyes, eh? Sore eyes, is that all? Sore eyes, yeah, yeah. How about your mind? Hard to breathe, eh? Hard to breathe, even now. Hard to think, too. And hey, would you recommend this uh, particular activity? Oh yeah, it's good fun, yeah. You do it again? Yeah, I, I'm going to go back in again, hey, just come out to give my eyes a rest. Oh, good one. Uh, 960, outside the Iron Lung competition. Well, the main thing the environmental group is promoting this Living Simply idea, which we've got in this booklet, which we've been handing out at enrolment. And it's a free booklet, is it? It's a free booklet for students. And it goes into things like food co-ops and energy, aerosols, and also into transport, especially cycling. And we're trying to promote cycling a lot this year. And also, as you can see, food co-ops and all these issues here. Right. Um, and uh, I suppose you're supporting a number of causes that all come under conservation. Uh, what's this, the whales or oh, we, something we, like we, this? We, we're, you know, we're affiliated to things like Friends of the Earth and Epicenter, and we all help each other. Um, programs there. Anyone who wants to come along and see all the films and forums we've got on this week uh, throughout the year. Pollution and um, household chemicals and cycling, native forests, nuclear weapons, third world, all those issues we're tackling and trying to get people aware of and doing something about. My name is Jill Fru and I'm the Welfare Officer and I'll be heading a group called Contact which is going to run the welfare services that the Students Association um, tries to, to do for the benefit of the students. We're in the Student Information Office which is run by Contact. 
um, I hope this year to staff them the office with volunteers all year round and so that people can come in here, they can sit down, have a cup of coffee, find out where the toilets are. Super Sunday! Part of Super Sunday, thousands of people have passed through Albert Park and the university environs and they've been enjoying Malaysian cooking, folk dancing and singing and all sorts of many varied entertainments and all for free. Uh, wouldn't it be nice to get on with me neighbours? But they make it very clear they've got no room for raiders. <laughs> controllers you helped organize this um, what do you think of the response it's not bad it's not bad, not it's, bad it's quite at all, a few really. people here it's not bad it's not bad, not it's, bad it's quite at all, a few really. people here there's no one to hear me there's nothing to say and no one can stop me from feeling this way yeah. crazy Sunday afternoon I've got no mind We're talking here with a gentleman and people have been taking him for a ride all day and he's feeling pretty sorry for himself and he's sitting here having some of the beautiful Albert Park grass. Uh, what do you think of it? Bridge of sights to rest my eyes in shades of green under dreaming spots to Ichiku Park. That's where I've been. What did you do there? What did you feel there? a short commercial brought to you by the Auckland University Debating Society. Debating Society, this is also to prove to you that you really don't, don't have to, you don't have to be able to speak to be in the debating club. In fact, you don't have to have any intelligence at all. But the main thing you learn in the debating club is articulation. Uh, uh, articulation. No, but seriously, you don't have to be able to speak to be in the debating club. The debating club is a club that caters for everyone from the serious debater, where we've been to competitions, international competitions in Sydney, and debated against the Oxford Union. Thank you, madam. Yes, please come again and debate it in Sydney to slightly less serious competitions in our own club nights. Thank you, madam. 
<laughs> please, please come again. As you can see, we're very busy here. People are walking all over us. <laughs> anyway, so I do hope you've seriously considered reading this. Reading, reading, reading one of our leaflets, which is all about the debating club. Yes. <laughs> if you are interested in learning about speaking or in, or just enjoying the club as a social aspect, do consider joining. Did you see the film? You didn't enjoy it. Oh, I don't think he. He did enjoy it, did he? Oh, yes. Where did you come from? Enjoying orientation. I don't think he's really orientated himself too well, really, on the whole. Of course, this is all very interesting, but what does it mean to mankind? People with a few hours to spare tonight might like to turn up outside the clock tower at 6.30pm when the car club will be running an orientation trial that's been specially plotted for beginners. People who don't have cars will be just as welcome as those that do, since navigators are always needed. The event is run within a five mile radius of campus and finishes at the recreation centre approximately one hour later. Those people who wish to stay behind after the event will be treated to chocolate biscuits and coffee. Any, got any opinion on the film itself? Yes, the most uh, frightening bit of the whole film was the fact that the projection has got a licence sometime. Tonight, Channel 960 brings you into the projection box of the Mainland Theatre. Uh, this is basically the nerve centre for lighting, sound and of course projecting films. There's Taste the Blood of Dracula which is presently going through the projector and being enjoyed and relished by hundreds of people below. Uh, we have Blue Horn here who is uh, really in charge of the projector and what's happening at the moment so we'll just have a few words from him. Blue, could you tell us anything about the workings of the uh, projection booth and what happens here? Well basically this is the main control room for the Maidman Theatre. You can also speak to the little theatre through it but here we mainly control the main theatre with uh, light panels for all stage shows. Um, all films are shown in here with the one projector. Uh, we also have a sound system which can go into quadraphonic. Basically, um, it can be used for just about anything at all. Do you actually ever sit down up here and just watch the film like that and enjoy it, or are you too busy you usually? Uh, sometimes I can if it's a brand new print. But normally I've got to keep my eye on it like I have now because it's just starting to play up. All right, th this is the sort of film that can cause problems, is, is that right? Yes, um, this film is probably about 20 years old and it has a lot of faults with it, but we can still show it yeah. just by constant watching it. How many times would you expect to have problems with it during, say, one showing like tonight? Can, what's a reasonable thing we can expect for it? Uh, anything from none to any figure you like to name. <laughs> yes. Any figure you like to name, indeed. 